Is the line ready? The line is ready. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. All ready on the firing line. My name is Jerry Penn. I'm a retired Oklahoma National Guard, and I began shooting a high pair of rifles in 1972 in January at the Oklahoma City Gun Club. My first score was a 680 and 1,000, and I think the first half dozen shots were misses because of the cold weather and lack of training. I can't remember exactly when I got my first leg points, but I, I do remember when I got the last ones, and that was May 8, 1979, with a 456 and about six or eight X's up at Fort Riley, Kansas at the uh, Fifth Army Rifle Championships. Got that with an M M14, and uh, at that time we were required to shoot both uh, both rifles in the, in the across the course discipline, but uh, I got my points with uh, M14, and the last score I got that with was a 458 with about six or eight X's, and it was a driving snowstorm, so they were hard earned, and uh, I was quite happy whenever I received that medal. And uh, in the Army, I'm not sure, but my medal came with just the date and my name on it, so it didn't have a number. So, but it's over 30 years ago. Uh, it is on my uniform. You don't know he only had one. And uh, it will stay there until removed. First instructor I had was an old sergeant major named Raymond Anderson from. 171 artillery in Oklahoma. Camp Perry was 1980, and I was first year that I made the All Guard squad. Uh, my biggest goal for that year was to make the President's 100, and I attained that goal by shooting a 295 that year and came in third overall on the uh, course of fire, which I was quite pleased with that. I was not fortunate enough to stay in a hut until I became a civilian. Uh, we were assigned to the air guard billets, which was about one step above that, which meant they had indoor plumbing and uh, shares and whatnot, which, and, but no air conditioning. One of the main mentors and teachers that I had was Command Sergeant Major Dale Spruill, who was uh, a longtime friend and a uh, high power advocate and a great fan of shooting sports altogether. He coached on the All Guard team for a long time. Senior Master Sergeant, I don't know what it's called in the Air Force, but it's the uh, same as Command Sergeant Major Lloyd Nelson, who was uh, later on was NRA referee and uh, match director at the Camp Perry High Power Match Phase. Went 16, 17 years straight, and I missed a year or two, and then I, I made several years, but I've been there over 20, 22 times now. Learned a lot from a lot of the guard shooters, coaches, and uh, appreciate mainly the help and equipment that I had available to me by shooting on the guard team, which was a, a great benefit, which I don't think that I would have ever been able to do had I not had those resources available to me. It sure seems like a lot of people were shooting with a rifle that has absolutely no sporting purpose. <laughs> Never seems to get old for me. Uh, I don't get up and down range quite as quick as I used to, and uh, it's always good to go and see some of the old guys that I used to shoot with on the team, which is a real treat. My family uh, is all grown up and gone now. I've got two daughters. One is a nurse at Oklahoma Med Center, and she works in ICU trauma. And uh, I'm glad I told her I was glad she got the uh, nursing degree because she might wind up changing my bedpan at the nursing home she puts me in. So. My youngest <coughs> daughter uh, graduated from Oklahoma State, and she's a teacher now, and uh, will be venturing down here south of the Red River to try to obtain uh, employment in the great state of Texas. We came down here with a team from Oklahoma that will probably dominate the Texas team as the OE football team dominates the Texas football team on a yearly basis. On, uh, okay. shots and Go ahead and shoot anyway. We'll give you a chance. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, get them out of here sooner. <laughs> Grown men. Anybody that has ever won or earned a distinguished badge has more than just their own fingerprints on it. There's a lot of help that goes in along the way. A lot of people that have taught those and brought them up and uh, mentored oh, them along the way to help them out. So it's 
Well, it is an individual medal. There's more people into it than, than, uh, than you think. I'm Jerry Penn, and I'm very proud to be a distinguished rifleman. What's this guy with? Oh.